Are you new to Grounded? Do you want to start things off like a pro? Then this is the video for you. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming back with a new tutorial video about how to start off your new playthrough in the best possible way for the Grounded Shroom and Doom update. But before I get started, if you're new to the channel or Grounded and are looking for fun and exciting Grounded related Grounded themed content, then you've come to the right channel because that's pretty much all that I do here. So if you enjoy the video, you could do me a huge favor and gently touch the like button and I hope this video earns your subscription today. The first thing you want to do after loading into a new save is to gather plant fiber, sprigs, and pebblets. You should also grab some mushrooms for food and keep in mind that maintaining your food and water meter above 90% grants health regeneration. Locate the nearest field station once you've collected about 10 sprigs, 10 pebblets, and 20 plant fiber. At the field station, use the analyzer to analyze a pebblet to gain access to the pebblet axe recipe. Analyze the plant fiber to gain access to the crude rope recipe and analyze the sprig to gain access to the spiky sprig recipe. Now go into your menu and craft crude rope. It will cost three plant fiber to craft one crude rope, so make sure you craft enough as crude rope is a vital material for crafting weapons, tools, and armors. Next, craft a pebblet axe using three sprigs two pebblets, and one crude rope. And also craft a pebblet hammer using three sprigs, four pebblets, and one crude rope. With your new tools built, follow the trail out of the field station until you locate the mysterious machine. You won't find Scooby-Doo and the gang there, however, because it's not the mystery machine, it's the mysterious machine. Activating the machine reveals that two of the lasers are not working properly. The first of these lasers is an easy fix and requires you to chop down a nearby tree-sized blade of grass. The second laser, however, will require more action. Next, you should obtain some dry grass chunks by chopping down some of the yellow grass, which will teach you the torch recipe. Crafting the torch will require sap, which can be found on twigs scattered around the mysterious machine. Also, when starting a new game, always remember to check the analyzer's cooldown timer and analyze any new resources you discover. You can tell if an item has not yet been analyzed by checking to see if there's a red marker on the item's icon in your inventory. Keep in mind, items hot on your shoulder, such as grass planks and weed stems, can also be analyzed. I also highly recommend heading over to the thistle plant south of the mysterious machine and grabbing at least five thistle needles. With those thistle needles, you will be able to craft the spiky sprig, one of the most powerful weapons that you can craft without a workbench. I also suggest making sure you analyze crude rope early on to gain access to the spiky sprig and acorn shovel recipes, which are both very useful when starting a new world. Now, craft a torch using two sprigs, one sap, two crude rope, and three dry grass chunks. Also craft a spiky sprig using three sprigs, five thistle needles, and two crude rope. With your torch, spiky sprig, and a pebblet hammer, travel to the mite cave south of the baseball where you originally spawned and eliminate the mites attacking the wire. Be careful as swarms of mites roam the area and will attack you if they see you. Inside of the cave, you will need to use a one-handed weapon if you carry the torch. I recommend the hammer, which can be used faster by using the block button to cancel the full attack animation after you successfully strike your opponent. This same technique can also be used when gathering resources like quartzite, which you will find down inside of the mite cave. Once you have cleared the wire of mites, you can return to the mysterious machine and press the activate button, which will trigger a cutscene showcasing an explosion from the base of a nearby oak tree. Take note of the tree's location, as it is the target of your next objective in Grounded, which will be unlocking floors and stairs and accessing Oak Lab, which I cover in another video.
But if you enjoyed this video, you could do me a huge favor and gently touch the like button. And if you want to see more exciting grounded-related, grounded-themed content here on Tiny Pirate Gaming, I hope that this video earned your subscription today. And if it did, don't forget to ring that little bell so you always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you ever want to come ask me questions about Grounded Live, consider gently touching my follow button over on Twitch where I live stream Grounded and some other games and hang out with the hashtag TinyCrew. Finally, if you want to keep up with channel news and all things Tiny Pirate Gaming, you can follow me on Twitter or join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord. Links to all of those things can be found down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Arg, matey. Watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.